section we're just going to add the line markings to the road so I've created a new view called road CL and I've just turned on the alignment string we're going to parallel this alignment string at 3.5 meters and then we'll parallel those strings either side uh, by 50 mils to create a 100 mil wide line so I'll just zoom in here at the start I need to whatever I have filled in here in my CAD control bar is where the parallel strings are going to go so I'll just create a new view called a new model sorry called 12d viz line marking and we'll make it a color white so we go to CAD parallel pick with direction we're going to parallel the entire string 3.5 meters with a zero height offset even though there's a camber on the road we're just going to later drape these strings onto the triangulation so there's no need to calculate the delta height at this stage so there's our first string no the same and there's our second string we're going to just zoom in on one of these other ones and we will parallel them also this time by 50 mils on both sides and the same on the other side of the road okay once we've finished paralleling our strings we can then delete the center line string just going to use the CAD strings delete on both sides and we then just need to close these strings up and create them a polygon out of them which we're then going to use in our to color our triangulation as we had done previously so we just use the CAD join to join up either end and then use the close function to close it off okay so we now have closed polygons that we're going to use later on first thing we'll do is drape them onto our triangulation tins, drape, drape <coughs> we'll drape the model and the model is line marking onto our combined tin replace the existing data and drape finish on that we'll now add the polygons for our overtaking lines down the center of the road if we wish we could have paralleled the center line string out by 100 mil to create discontinuity lines or holding lines but we're just going to create an overtaking line all the way along our string here so we go to view visualization utilities line marking our line marking will be positioned on our center line string our color change that to white and we'll have three meter lines with a nine meter gap and we'll put our new data into our existing line marking uh, model so if I hit create you can see we now add a whole lot of polyglines down the center of the load we can finish on that there's no need to drape these strings because they're actually created using the camber of the road uh, on the on the center line there okay the next thing we want to do is we want to add these strings to our triangulation so if we go to tins edit our tin the tin to edit will be the combined tin and we just want to add in the model tin viz line marking and retriangulate the data now in doing this if we take a look at our perspective view you'll see that all our coloration has gone from our <coughs> our road so we'll just have to retry, uh, recolor that triangulation so we go to tins color color within a polygon select our tin again we're going to use the polygon colors and the model will be 
road one polys. We hit color. Once we finish coloring the triangles, the textures will automatically be reply will be applied because we've still got our ten render settings set without uh, various different textures. Now you'll notice that the line markings uh, still aren't shown, and the reason for that is because they're in a different poly layer, which was our Viz one our 12D Viz line marking. So if I just color this polygon in now, in our texture mapping file earlier on we didn't have a color set for our white to texture so therefore it's just filled in those polygons with its natural color which is white. So we can finish on that. You can see it all looks pretty good. If we go for a drive down the road you can see very quickly and very easily we've created a fairly realistic looking visualization of our road. One thing you may notice as we went around the corner here, if I just reverse up a little bit, one thing you'll notice here is that as we go around the corner uh, we don't get a nice smooth uh, curve going around the corner here and the reason for that is that our road center line if I'd set the properties earlier on, to a change interval to 1 meter instead of 10 meters, then we would get a much smoother looking polylong around the outside of the road. 